and welcome along. Today, we are back on Upton Farm. Uh, as you can see, it's raining a bit at the moment and we've got some cardboard we need to get undercover. Uh, but after we have cleared up around our factory area, we're going to be heading over to uh, our sugar beet field because we've got sugar beet that's ready to harvest. So without further ado, let's jump in the New Holland starter up. And just get these picked up and out of the way. I think we also have some uh, some pallets that need doing as well. But we're going to put this undercover so it doesn't get too wet. Right, which is a good start for us. We are producing a decent number of pallets and, uh, and boxes at the moment. So I'm quite happy with that. It's, it's working well. So we'll just get these under here. We're going to need to build a new barn around here at some point, I think. But at the moment, we'll just leave as is. Whoop. Still getting used to the new joystick a little bit. I don't think it'll do too badly with it. I have reworked some of the controls on it. And so uh, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense to me. Right, these we fortunately don't need to put undercover. Now, how are we lined up there? We are not. There we go. In we are. Yeah, I'm hoping my new setup makes a little bit more sense to me. Uh, so we're going to put these over here. We might add a new barn or um, shelter or something along the side here at some point. But for now, it's a good place to put these. Ooh, up a little bit and down. There we go. So that's cleared those off. So we'll turn this off. And we will head over to... Here. Where... Ooh. Ah. This is moving a bit. So we'll turn it on and hook up. And back off our trailer. There we go. So we have switched out a couple of tractors as well. Uh, is another thing that's pretty important I should mention. So over here we have, uh, this is our 7530 that we had before. Uh, we have sold the 5M uh, and replaced it with a 6M. So slightly more powerful, has 115 horsepower. Uh, but in order to afford that, we also had to sell our 6R uh, because uh, that was actually... Uh, a much more expensive tractor. We're going to lose a little bit of crop moving this out of the way. Uh, it was a bit more expensive tractor, but we have a, a nice classic 7810 in its place. Which will be very useful to us. And, uh, and has a similar power level actually to this 7530. So we've got two. We've got a much more balanced tractor set up on here now. With uh, with two tractors that are roughly the same power level to do all our carting and our general work around the farm. Uh, ooh, let's turn that off. And then we've got... Uh, we have our big... Well, I say big. Our fairly large 7R to do the other work. This has a nice big uh, bit on the front of it, actually. Uh and, uh, and yeah, that means that we should have a good balance to do all our work on here now. And we are going to have to, at some point... Ah. Oh. Okay, we will be right back. Uh, we've got to get the rain out of the way. I'm quite why we can't get uh, sugar beet up during the rain, I don't know. But we will be back momentarily when the rain has stopped. Okay, so we've moved forward to uh, the rain stopping. The sun is coming out a bit and it's it's quite nice, although it is later in the day now. So we've got to get cracking on this. I would very much like to have this, uh, all the sugar beet up in this game day. We should do though, We uh, the nice thing about this is this has a six meter header on it. Unlike the standard in game one, which... Uh, doesn't 
which only has a, I think it's a four meter header on the standard in game one. And when I said standard in game one, I mean from, uh, that you can download from Giants Mod Hub. Uh, this one is, uh, this is this, the smaller brother actually. This is the uh, 4030, I think. Yeah, uh, the T430, yeah. So this is the smaller brother. It holds slightly less. Uh, in fact, it will fill that bull cargo tra uh, that bull trailer uh, that we have attached to the 7530. Uh, the plan very much is that we're going to harvest this field. Oh, that's quite nice there. Uh, we're going to harvest this field. Uh, fill up the trailer and we're going to go and take the trailer. Wow, we're 25% already. Uh, we're going to take the trailer over to our factory area and get our sugar beet factory started. So very much at the moment, this, this harvest is more about getting that started than uh, doing a big harvest. But uh, I, I just wanted to get this out as well and, and have a go. Uh, once we go over there and do that and get that started, we'll probably come back and for the rest of the episode do more work with this in this field. Uh, and we'll probably tip... Well, we'll see how full our uh, our trailer gets the... Um, gets the sugar beet factory. Uh, because obviously we want to fill it up if we can. We need the sugar for creating our... 50% uh, for creating our milkshakes and yogurts and things. Uh, basically, we're looking to produce stuff, a lot of stuff from the milk factory. But the other useful thing is once we've filled that sugar beet factory up, it might actually be quite useful to sell off the rest of the sugar beet. So we will see how we go. Right, I want to come around the other way because we're going to want to empty. And down. So there's lots to do, lots that we have going on here. Uh, we will probably uh, not next, well, maybe next episode. I don't know. We might do some more sugar beet next episode. We may do a, uh, we have a soybean crop that needs harvesting as well. And we have some wheat that needs harvesting. So we may get the combine out as well. Just as a little bit of a break from all the factory work. But we need to... Uh, we need to get that in because the money from those are going to buy us some more cows. Because the next thing we've got to do is we've got to ramp up our milk production. We are going to need a lot more milk for what we're doing. There we go. Yeah, so we will go until we're full and then we will empty out. Part of me wonders if I could get a course play running between here and there, but I doubt the tractor would get anywhere near getting back to this field in time. I just don't think it would be a possibility. Uh, we're 91%. Let's get the that out. 95. 98. We're going to get up to this. There we go. Burst up a little bit. Nice that it, it picks up. Let's jump out and run across to our 7530 here. There we go. I've also... Uh, you guys had to let me know if uh, if the sound quality of my voice is a bit better. I've uh, I noted that uh, last couple of videos I sound a little bit distant, a little bit distant. Sorry, so uh, I uh, adjusted my microphone and hopefully I'm coming across a little bit clearer uh, and not sounding like I've uh, I'm speaking from across the room. There we go. So, there we go. 
Pull that forward slightly. If this doesn't quite fill this up, then we will keep going and fill it up again, I think. But it's going to come pretty close. Oh, it's not quite full. Ah, uh, no, we can't do a follow me on that. Let's. Oh. There we go. So we will go round again as that's not quite full. 93%. Another round of the field will definitely do. Well, actually, just to the end here we'll do it. We'll fill us up. There we go. That will do it. Another 9%. Seeing as they're around about. Even. And we have got an exit that we can get out just here. That'll be about right. There we go. 100%. Uh, there we are. It's left all of 883. So we will now take this very full trailer full of sugar beet over to our factory area. And I will see you there. So here we are. We're approaching the entrance of the factory area now. So, in we go. Down our newly created road. Or the road we created for this purpose. I am wondering where I can jam anything else into this factory area. But, here we are. So we're going to tip this here and then we're going to load up the other bits. We're probably going to go and find our 6M, which I think is back at the main farm. So it may be a case of going to get that and then meeting back up with you guys here. But we need... To, I think we need water. We need pallets, water, sugar beet. And I think that might be it. Let's... Oh. Yeah, we're well off track there. So this goes into here. Like so. There we are. Right. So we will tip that. And if we bring up F1... We'll go round the other end while that's tipping. And we'll go and have a look down here. Right. Ooh. So, we have 31%. So, we need three loads of sugar beet. Uh, we need water and we need empty pallets. Well, empty pallets is something we can rectify very quickly. And then we will drive back. I'll drive back to the other farm. Drop. Oh, come on. There we go. Right. So these will disappear the moment I drive them up to it. Yeah. There we go. And empty pallets in. So that's put a load of those in. And then we just need water. So we're gonna take I'm gonna take the tractor back to the other farm. Where our 6M is. There's no quicker way, unfortunately. But look at that. Wow, we already have another stack of pallets. So I'm gonna have to move those in a minute. We'll drive this back to the main farm. 
And there I can switch tractors. And I will be back here shortly with our 6M and some water. So here she is. Here's our 6M. Um, I actually discovered that it's sitting over here by the cows. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, a useful area for it to be. So, great little tractor. Great looking little tractor, this. I do love, I did love the 5M. Uh, but it did have trouble pulling some of the stuff we needed it to. Uh, and so I managed to find this. And this actually, great little tractor. I'm trying to remember, it does, it does have uh, IC on it. And... Uh, yeah, I'm hoping by the time this video goes up, I might have some form of mod list up for this map. Uh, but uh, my apologies if it's not. Uh, if it is, it will be in the description. Uh, right, I think our water Bowser is down here somewhere. But yeah, hopefully, and hopefully I can track all the mods down as well. That's the other thing, of course. don't quite remember where all of them came from. Now, I think the water bowser is right here. I have no idea how full it is, though. Knowing my luck, it will be completely empty. And we'll need to go fill it somewhere. It looks empty. Uh, and it has 1% water in it. So, we need to go fill this up. Ah, I think that is a water fill point up here. We're about to find out. I'm also hoping it's not going to cost me a fortune to fill it up. But we'll see in a moment. It is a water fill point. Uh, and it is going to cost me a fortune to fill it up. Okay, we're probably going to go into minus numbers here. Would surprise me greatly if we didn't. Yeah, we are. So we're going to... I was hoping not to go into the minus figures. At least before I had a chance to sell some of those soybeans. It's not It's not the end of the world. Uh, I have various sell points for various bits that I can do. I didn't really want to sell any pallets or anything like that yet. Uh, but it looks like we may have to do some of that. Yeah, minus 2,000. So that was 4,000 pounds worth of water that we just filled this with. Uh, I'm hoping it's enough. Oh, come on. Let's get this turning circle. There we go. Right. So we will head back down to our factory area with this. And we will get this. Load it in. It's quite nice that it's directly opposite the pigs area. It's a pity that the cows and the pigs aren't the other way around, but never mind. We'll get back down our road here. Not too far to drive. And then hopefully we might finish off with one more load of sugar beet. If we're lucky. But yeah, we are. We do need some sort of warehousing, I think. This tractor is doing much better than our 5M was. Our 5M was struggling with this. So I'm quite glad we got something a little bit bigger. I mean, it's only got 115 horsepower. But that should be enough for our yard tractor around here. So back this up. This should then have. Oh. There we go. Unloading. Yeah, there's something a little bit off about the, the connection points on some of these mods. Uh, that is good. And that should be, yeah, the last thing that's needed for sugar. So we are producing sugar. Awesome. So our water is going up. This will, by the looks of things, this will fill our water up. That's fantastic. I may not go full height. 
Uh, empty pallets. We need a lot more pallets, but that's not surprising. 74% water, 31% sugar beet. So, yeah, another load of pallets. We can easily get those because we've got some that have just come off the production line. So that helps us with this as well. And then we will go and get another trailer full of sugar beet. Because we've got that back on the field. Wait. Got caught there. Yeah, there we go. Right. Don't need them very deep on the forks because we're not going very far. There we go. Right. Perfect. So we'll just park this back over here. And then we will head back over to our harvester here. So we've got the tractor just over there. And we'll get another headland done. There we go. Yeah, I do. I am getting a couple of freezers every so often with my computer. I think I think the uh, the upgrade to the PC is uh, more and more necessary as time goes on. Uh, but as with everything, it's just the funds to do it. go actually raised the uh, the arm then not the um, oh, not the front right this is the last round we're gonna do I think and then we will cut in 25% at this point it's good yeah we will easily get another trailer full and get ourselves uh, well over half full on the sugar beet, uh, the sugar factory. I'll cut into the middle of it. Next, I like this. This uh, this version of the Holmer I really like. Uh, it does come with the wider header, which means that sugar beet harvesting does not take forever. Um, but it's also not so big that there's no trailers that will take uh, a load from it. I think what we'll do, actually... Uh, yeah, actually, the long way to go on this field is up there. So we'll do that. Other nice thing about sugar beet is that you can line up rather nicely like this. Don't need GPS. And if we go inside, so that is great. But this is a lovely machine. Really good machine. I love I love all the, the fill levels and everything. You know, you can you can see from there exactly what's going on with this machine, which a lot of a lot of mods don't have. Uh, I know. I mean, I know this is based on one of Giants mods. Therefore, uh, it doesn't have things like IC, but things like those indicators, especially if you're doing a role play, having those indicators for a role play is fantastic because it means you actually get to do the uh, the various bits and pieces. I did notice the radio said 1700 for a moment and then went 1801. So, yeah, there is that. I don't quite know what happened there. Maybe I just caught it at 1759 and then 1800 and my eyes happened to scan it as that was happening. That's a possibility. Never driven a sugar beet harvester in real life. 
I do know it employs the same basic principles uh, when you're harvesting. Um, so like this, you'd, you'd cut in and, uh, and then work your way out. Simply because that means you're doing the least amount of uh, travel all the time. Uh, where are we? It's 30,000 this takes and we're at 28.5. Yeah, we are coming to a full tank. 97%. We won't get very far down here. And then that's okay. So we... Whoa! That is not... Oh, yeah, we did. We ran into the crop a bit. That's annoying. I didn't know it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> I should really have uh, been a little bit more cautious there. Right. Here's our tractor. Oh, we haven't put uh, the, uh, the belt out. That's okay. I'll be around there in a moment. So the trailer's a lot more dirty now. There we go. Round. And in. Out. I'm not sure I'm far enough. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, put that in the middle of the trailer. And what I might do is try and back off and see if we can just uh, do a follow me to just top it off, as we discovered last time. There we go. Right, so we'll just back up. No. There we go. Right. So we'll move six out. Nope. Five out. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Hey, slightly off course. Right, there we go. Uh, no, nope, we're still filling up and we're still filling up. He's at 98%. So we'll go until it stops filling that trailer. There we go. That stopped filling that trailer. So we'll turn this off. Oh, come on, get into the right thing. Right. And that actually is a pretty good place for us to leave it so as I'm driving out this field oh, there we go uh, so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this episode please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer Please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.